baby. All right, what's up? Nope. Nope, bro, that is so sus, man. Probably in Thailand, my dude. Those space shorts? No. Because your ass is out of this world. Actually, they're softball shorts because I'm out of your league. The reversal, bro. Got him. Hi, my name is Paul. I am new to the single scene. I'm looking for a discreet relationship that- What are you doing? Man's is gonna get in trouble, dude. It wasn't discreet enough. Talking uh, about exes, I think, is a big red flag. I'll tell you what's a bigger red flag than that. Still being friends with your ex. I can't tell you how many girls I've dated that the entire relationship, they go, I can't block him. Like, we're still friends. And I'm like, look, you can read our text message. I go, this fucker is still flirting. I can't block him. Like, it would, be, it would create, like, a weird energy. We're in the same friend groups and stuff. The moment we break up, I'm blocked. So it was that easy the whole time. That's a bigger red flag. Mm. <laughs> if he ever uses the phrase, if you want, you can come round if you want, I can do something if you want, run. Tell me to be ready for eight. Tell me you have a surprise for me. Hey, if you want. Shove it up your- Yeah, I actually agree with that. If the traditional relationship is what you're looking for, you have to assume your role as leader. Take charge. Does the CEO go to his employees and ask, Hey, how do I run the company? What do I do? What should we go and do now? No. Decide the spot, the date, the time, you pay for everything, and even tell her what to wear if you're ballsy enough. This is all to set the frame of you being the leader within the interaction. It is much more difficult to set the frame later on in the relationship, so it's important that you put these boundaries and frame in place right up front. <laughs> Dressing up to get my husband's reaction. Hey babe, how do I look? Damn! <laughs> you look beautiful. You kind of make me want to too much. Yeah, a little bit. Making me want to. Oh my god. This is just a TikTok video, obviously, just for fun. But in a healthy dynamic, she should only want her man's attention, his approval, dressing up for him. If she loves, admires, and respects you, she wouldn't even want attention from other men. You should be the only man on her mind. So really, it's all about becoming that man that is worthy of respect and being that apex dude. My dad was the only <laughs> Based cranny. Hey, we got Try it. Try it again. No ah! way. No. What? So they're jumping a car and they're using their arms as a connection for the electricity. Yo, someone science explain that to me in the comments. Because I have a feeling if I tried this, your life is over. You know what I mean? During church? After church? <laughs> Haram, stop. Bro, walk around the house, bro. Come on, one more time, bro. For the memes, for the bank, for the guys, bro. For the outside movement. One more time. <laughs> Yo, just casually committing crimes. TikTok views. For those of you lucky enough to not know who this guy is, this is a TikToker called Mizzy, and he is just a social menace. In this video, they recorded themselves going into a random person's house without being invited in, obviously. Bro, I swear. If this happened in the US, he's not walking out of that house, bro. Especially if he comes into my spot. There is no conversation. There's only getting the Glock. That's it. Felt society in London, bro, put a W dog. There's nobody at Gecko. So I'm ringing people out today. All right, your balance is 439, cash or card? All right, you're all set there, sir. All right, man. All right, you have a good night. Will this be all for you? Yes, it will. Thank you for that. Uh, total comes out to 269. All right, my, my coworker over here will help you out. I figured out how to do the, uh, the card machine, but I couldn't figure out how to do the cash. So I'll let you take care of it.
Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but who who are you? I'm Justin. Justin? Oh, okay. I don't. I I've been out the last week. If you're new. Yeah, today's my first day. Oh. Um. Okay. You work here. Mm-hmm. I just started today. See, like, this dude is the complete opposite. The opposite of a social menace. Just doing free work. My man, I guess. To me, I just, I, don't, I will never understand men that are, like, 30 and they're like, hmm, I'm still figuring out what I want. Still figuring it out? Get a journal. Figure it out right now. Go get a therapist. Figure it out right now. I'm like, how are you 30 and you don't know what you want? All of our value is built. And it takes us longer to accumulate our value. Money, muscles, game, frame, fashion, confidence, charisma. There's so many different things, bro. All of this stuff. A lot of men really don't know what they want until they're early to mid 30s. Usually around that time, it's when they're just starting to figure things out. Because they had to build up all of these other things prior to that. This is like asking a woman in her early 20s. Hey, what do you, what do you want from life? Why aren't you ready to settle down? They're getting into their peak value where are you going you have the world to be relax i'm tired of what life <laughs> me bro pretty sure that's just everyone right now dude So, uh, the basketball is her Wilson. Okay. I mean, if you can't get with LeBron James or any other NBA star, I guess a basketball is the next best thing. I'm going to respond to you, I'm going to respond to you. Hey, what's This is always true, bro. Of course. Instagram is always fake. Exactly like my Instagram, at Griffin Mind, which I think is the only real Instagram account. Load tutorial. Be the when you're <laughs> What? What is this video? Oh, God damn it, dude. Fine, we'll watch it. We'll watch it, alright? Stop freaking out. We'll watch it. Okay, ready? Tip of a guy. Use this tongue. That's what I'm saying, bro. All right, my teen son signed me up for OF so he could get more pocket money. He's fully supportive of my career. Judging by the photo, yep. You know the mom has to know that her son is, and she's okay with that. Imagine some toxic guy telling you, yikes. I can't even read that, bro. This is too around. What is this? Is this even real? He's not even being subtle about it. Bro gets a family discount. <sighs> The coldest comment. God damn! How are you not subscribed to the channel? Okay? How are you not subscribed? How is this possible? How is my chair blocking me right now? Subscribe to the channel on the road to 1 million. Goodbye.